All right, so what is this video now? A viewer sent this to me. Harpen Cup Stall Barge Landing. Wait, is he gonna land on on that on that thing? Uh, oh my God! He actually, yeah, he actually is. No, wait, no, 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 no. Is this is this gonna happen here? No way. Is, is this a landing right here on a, on a ship? What what the hell is this video? Oh my goodness. Welcome to Poland, everybody. I guess what the hell was this one right here? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. A Polish viewer of mine sent this to me. This is actually an official video clip by Cub Crafters, who actually make aircraft. They're an aircraft manufacturer from the USA. Yet they make the carbon cup plane, this one right here. And it's a stall plane, which stands for short takeoff or landing or something. It doesn't matter. This plane does not practically need a runway. As just demonstrated here, they landed this on a, on a barge. What is that? Barge. A barge is a shoal draft flat bottom boat. Okay, so that's a barge. Okay, really. They landed this on a, on a boat. I mean, look at what a legend this is. Look at this smile. Definitely highly deserved just landed on a barge. I, I mean, why not? <laughs> what the hell? Even though he's wearing polarized ray bands, which I don't think you're allowed to do, but that's another story, okay? This is one of the most craziest landings ever. Now, you might be asking, though, well, why are you making a video about this then, Swiss? Well, this barge was actually added to the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. It looks like this, and it has the exact dimension of the real barge that this plane landed on. And the dimensions are not particularly big. 72 meters by 10 meters of width. Like, how? 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 That's... Oh, this is very scary. And this barge is also on the exact river that um, the carbon cub landed at. So that's going to be interesting here in Poland. And well, <laughs> here we go in the flight simulator. It's right in front of us. And, you know, just compared to this actual river size, we can actually see how short this runway. It's not even a runway. It's going to be. Yep, this is basically aircraft carriers on wish. <laughs> yeah, that's basically genuinely what it is. Yeah, other than, yeah. I mean, aircraft carriers are normally huge ships, of course. Up to 400 meters of length, which is just crazy. But not really crazy for planes. The shortest runways on this planet are 400 meters long, right? And, uh... There's actually no runway ever to be found that's only 72 meters. I think we're gonna have better chance landing on like a helipad or something. I mean, genuinely, I think there are there are helipads longer than this. Okay, so just do this. Oh, this is scary. Oh, no, 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 we're stalling into the water. God damn it. I mean, yes, in the official video, you could see that the pilot took many, many tries before touching down properly. You know, just finding the perfect speed. We are definitely too fast here. Let's do this. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I mean, for starters, that was okay. Holy moly. Yeah, this is probably the hardest challenge I've ever done here on the channel, bro. <laughs> Genuinely. Holy moly. I mean, couldn't they have, like, picked a bigger boat or something? Why do they have to go for something this small? I mean, 72 meters for a boat really isn't all too long, even. Right? So, let's try to do this anyway. Come on. I'm gonna want at least, like, 30 knots or something. Oh my god, that's not gone very well. Mmm. I mean, we stopped. This is generally hard. I mean, this is an X Cub. I was actually in this video going to try, of course, some bigger planes, maybe like a 747. Just kidding. But like, a, somewhat of a bigger plane, right? But that's no chance it's going to happen, right? All right, let's, let's see, though. Come in. Um, let's give the... Uh, yeah, no, this is not going to work out at all. Okay, it's been a landing. Let's go and stop. Can we? I mean, I'm just gonna mention that these cub planes right here can easily cost more than a Lamborghini. But, uh, I mean, why not? This is an interesting one, a little bit of an older one. Probably needs a little bit less speed or something, I hope. This is actually measured in kilometers per hour, the speed here, isn't it? <laughs> Great. No, that's been that's been too much. Ah, oh, god damn it. I mean, I'm just realizing how dangerous this challenge really was. Holy moly, like, stupidly dangerous. I mean, that could have easily gotten wet. Okay, oh man, this is genuinely hard here. All right. Oh, wow, we crashed into it. Yes, careful, careful. Kiss the boat, kiss the boat, kiss the boat. Slightly. Oh, my, no, no, no. Oh, don't overrun, don't overrun. Come on, no, 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 don't water. Oh. Oh, that's actually been the best landing so far. Holy moly. Yeah, this plane can fly at a bit of a lower speed, even. 33 knots, which is around 60 kilometers per hour. That was actually okay. So, maybe let's concentrate a little bit more. We need a little bit more strength. And I know exactly how to get that strength. I'm gonna pull up. The butter song. All right. All right. Big brain mode. Let's do this. Oh. Okay. A landing. Stop. Please stop. Stop. No. I mean, maybe I should learn how to properly fly a tail dragger first because I always keep flipping up to the front. 
great. I mean, the thing is, tail drag or landing gear planes, so having a landing gear in the tail, have a lot more stopping capabilities and a lot more stopping performance than uh, the normal tricycle landing planes that we see on, like a Cessna or a 747. Let me see. Let's probably land like a 747 here later on. <clears throat> Why not? Let's just uh, try this uh, again. I'm just really out here wondering how they managed to not uh, sink a cup plane. Come on. Yes? Yes! 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 I've done it. Even have to stand up for this one. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was great! I'm proud of my landing here. Let's watch this replay. This actually did go very well here. Pretty on point landing right there. Pretty good touchdown just when this started. And I kept the nose nice enough, not crashing to the ground. And we actually stopped everybody. This was pretty good. We still have like a meter of runway left. That's good to see. Yep. Holy shoot. Wow, that was that was pretty good. Oh my goodness. Okay, great. But the thing is, <laughs> one thing, right? <laughs> this uh, legend here also took off from the runway, of course, after that landing. Here we go. Here is the actual takeoff. It also worked. Oh my god. What was that of a takeoff run? Look at this. <laughs> One, two, three seconds. Are we going to be able to beat that or something? Or even just take off at all? Let's find out. Um, and we've got to find a way to turn around this plane here. That's like another thing. How do we turn this around? Uh, can we get onto this blue thing? Yeah, we can. Okay. I'm just, I'm pretty sure they turned this around by hand and not <laughs> with the wheels. But that's another story. Let's go ahead and take off here. Okay. So, let's go ahead and give full power. This uh, has got quite a bit of power here, this engine. 4,000 RPM. Let's go ahead and release the brakes. Put the flaps down to the fullest and uh, get this going. Come on. More speed, more speed, more speed, and we're taking off. Okay. That's actually been pretty close to an overrun, but this has actually worked. Everybody, we have accomplished the challenge. Let's try to maybe <laughs> to go for a bigger plane here. Yeah, no. I mean, the thing is, again, this boat is 70 meters long. And when I say 70, a few bells should probably ring, right? Because there is an aircraft that is pretty much 70 meters long, the 777. Yeah, one of the longest planes on this planet here. Even though the 777 isn't even all that big. Genuinely as long as our boat. So we practically landed a cub on a, on a 777. But theoretically, though, there is a way we could land bigger planes here. And uh, it's just by giving us... So so much headwind to provide us lift that we don't even need any ground speed to, you know, provide lift. So what I'm going to do now is just like 70 knots headwind, which does happen in real life sometimes in like a storm or something. <laughs> and uh, here we go. 70 knots. Now this kind of headwinds kind of almost gives us the opportunity to just kind of be stuck in midair while actually flying, floating in midair, which is a... Uh, phenomenon yeah because again we have so much air pushing against us that we can provide lift without you know needing to actually have a big ground speed what am i saying let's come in for a landing here and we are really slow indeed i think this is gonna work now this way we could probably land even an a320 here all righty let's do this now all easy coming down 